Well, hello and welcome to my channel, Living the Dream. My name is Jen and I have quite the year ahead of me and so I thought I would share it with anyone that wanted to watch. What have I got going on? I have a milestone birthday, I'm graduating law school, and I am trying to figure out what I want to do in the next chapter of my life. So I've decided. Um, today, March 1st, I am starting a no buy year. I hadn't even considered a no buy year until I found some folks on YouTube doing it. And I really like this idea. I like this idea of not being part of the consumerism bandwagon. Now, why don't I want to be part of the consumerism bandwagon anymore? I'm passionate about environmentalism and um, conservation of our environment, conservation of our natural resources. And there are things in my life that completely conflict with those ideas. And I can talk to you about those in another video. But there are things, so I can't do everything. Um, I'm not going to be a, the awesomest conservationist you've ever met, but there are things that I can do to reduce my impact on adding to the toxins in the planet. And so back to my no buy. Um, I have six categories of things that I'm not going to be purchasing in the next year because we have plenty. And by we, I mean my husband and I, I'm married, no kids, a couple of cats. They are the reason why I can't have nice things. Um, as you can see behind me, that sconce that has a little action figure on it, I haven't been able to put anything on that sconce um, because of my fur babies. They are the reason why I can't have anything nice. And so my husband wanted to help me decorate my room because the sconce looked very bare. And he had this rock action figure. I don't even know who it is. Um, he would be so disappointed that I don't even know who that is. Um, but he thought that that matched the beachy theme of my room. I can show you a little bit here of my room. Okay. A little bit of a beach theme going on. And this rock character um, <clears throat> matches the decor of the room. And so he put him up there. And he's lived there now for about a year. Um, and I, I have no intentions of, of changing him. Um, because the whole premise behind him is adorable. Okay. And so back to my no buy year. I have six categories of things that I'm not going to be purchasing over the year, and they are housewares, clothing, hair care, skin care, makeup, and cleaning supplies. Um, we have plenty of all of these. Now, I am allowed to replace items as the category becomes empty, and I have some rules constraining my replacements. So my first rule is, I want to replace the items from an individual who is selling the item uh, that was in their bloated category. So how am I going to look for these products? Well, I'm going to search all the apps um, that are out there, Poshmark, eBay, Amazon through single buyers, uh, Craigslist in my area, we have Craigslist, and I'm going to look for items f through individual sellers first. Um, someone who had this item in their collection and is now trying to find a new home for it, I will be the one looking f to be the new home for that item. If I can't find the item from an individual seller, then I will look at boutique sellers like on Poshmark. Um, they are run by an individual selling items, but through a boutique. Um, I hope that this will create less demand for a product, but I have to do a little more research to figure that out. And then if all else fails and I cannot find the item, um, I'm going to search for an item, a substitute item that is at least um, ecologically friendly, uh, meaning that it's not covered in plastic. Um, it comes in a package that can easily be recycled like glass. Um, and then we'll go from there. That's the 50,000 foot view of what I plan to do in my no buy year for the next year. Now, I know this video is going up a few days late, but I'm starting the no buy year on March 1st, which was a few days ago. So I'm not purchasing anything in those categories. And if I run out of something, we'll replace it. I plan on having another video to show what I'm starting out with. Um, so stay tuned for that. So for my first video, I decided to film how I get these curls. Um, my hair is very fragile and I can't use a hot iron on it. 
Um, so I get these curls using the blow dryer and I blow um, so one way that I get to conserve electricity is by using one tool, the blow dryer, to both curl and dry my hair at the same time. Um, if you'd like to know how I do that, keep watching. And as an FYI, this is day three, um, three days after I filmed the video that you're about to watch. I hope you enjoy. Enjoy. All right, so I am fresh out of the shower and I only used three products on my hair this time I washed it. I used Surge Salon Shampoo, uh, that's a local salon in my area. I used Dove Conditioner with almond oil. The almond oil one really is amazing. I can't use the other ones, they make it so frizzy. The Dove Almond Oil is amazing. If you have a conditioner that you don't like, try adding some almond oil to it and see how it performs for you. Then I use this Wow Dream Coat and you have to blow the, dry this into your hair. Um, this product is also amazing. It has saved my hair. It makes it feel, instead of like couch batting, the stuff that you uh, stuff a couch cushion with, it makes it feel like silky smooth hair. And so I first apply some heat to all the strands to try to set that product into the hair. And I'm, hair, and I'm using a flat brush to pull it through. And I saw this video on Instagram of how to curl your hair using a boar bristle round brush. And so that's what I'm doing here. First I pull the bristles through my hair straight and then I start twisting. And I like to twist away from my face. I like my curls to go backwards. Um, applying heat to the brush after every twist. And so I go through my whole head like this. And this really doesn't take me much time. It doesn't take me any more time to curl the hair with the round brush as it would to blow it out without curling it. Um, it maybe adds a few minutes to my blowouts, but not much. Actually, this whole video took me about 20 minutes to record. Um, and so I keep pulling it through and I start with, a, I section my hair in sections. Uh, this is the bottom section that I'm on. And once everything is twisted into these kind of little dreads, these little dreadlocks, I will move to the middle section um, and do the same thing, the same process. And I'm going to speed up this video so that um, it doesn't take as long watching me curl everything. Now my hair is pretty textured and it holds it holds a shape pretty well. Um, I think it's from all the fried damage that has happened. I used to be blonde. I was blonde for many, many years. And I changed to this red color um, about two years ago so that I stopped bleaching my hair. My stylist and colorist is amazing. This is a no bleach red and it stays. It doesn't fade to pink. Um, I go in and have my roots touched up about every six weeks and we're not having to put color on the ends anymore. It's holding. It, it, she's amazing. She's an alchemist when it comes to hair color. I like a lot of height in my hair so I pull up my roots going upward but I don't like using product. Um, one thing I would like to find is a root lifter. I don't know if any of you know of a good root lifter that actually works. Um, that's something I'm looking for. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments down below. Now I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair twice a week max. Sometimes I can go seven days. It just depends on what I've been doing. Um, I don't like a greasy root and I haven't been able to find a dry shampoo that I like either. I'm currently using a Dove one and I kind of hate it. Um, so I just am opting not to use it. If you have any suggestions for a dry shampoo that's great, that doesn't leave it um, dried out and sticky, 
please let me know. Now I like 80s height, like hella height in my roots. And so um, I do everything I can to try to get that height without using a product. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't found a root lifter or anything that helps out and I don't like putting products in my hair. Um, so with the front trying to get it to fall right and trying to get the height that I'm looking for, I have to go into it a couple of times. Now I leave these dreads in my hair while I'm getting ready and putting on makeup and then I tossle it out and I tossle it out kind of roughly as you see. And here's the final product, Beachy Waves Without an Iron. Cheers to being the change that you want to see and rock on.